Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about something called stock keeping units or SKUs. I'm sure you heard the word SKU, you might not have heard uh, stock keeping unit, but that's what it is. And in Business Central, stock keeping unit is used to separate out the items uh, when they're in different locations. So what we're working with today is an item, uh, the actual coffee mug or coffee cup within the location. So when we actually combine these two together, we have something called the stock keeping unit. So why would we want to do that? The reason is if we have the same item inside one location, it might behave differently as the same item in a different location. So in location A, we might have different parameters like other report, uh, reordering points versus location B. So let's see how that is in a diagram. Let's take a look at a diagram. We have an item and we have a location. So what we want to do is identify items in particular locations as different entities. And when we do that, we work with something called SKU or stock keeping units. So we have a specific entity for the coffee cup in the main location and a specific entity for the coffee cup in the west location. And we can set up different parameters for the coffee cup in main versus the west. They could have different reorder points, they could have different reorder quantities, and many other things they could set them aside. And so these are the connections uh, that we use in order to set up uh, different parameters for different locations, but the same item. Now let's look at the system. So what we want to do is get into the paper coffee cup and take a look at something called stock keeping units. This is a thing that will help us do what we needed to do, which is have the reordering happen in a location independently. So before we were just looking at the black location and it would re uh, reorder into the black location, which is great. But as we talked about before, we want to be in locations, not in the blank location. And we might want to have a different reorder point for each location, or even the same reorder point for each location, but order for both locations. So like, uh, let's say it's two offices, two uh, coffee machines. And so we have to have the stock for each of the coffee machines uh, independently. So I'll go here into stock keeping units. Right now there's nothing set up. So I'm gonna create a new one. And it's pretty simple. All I have to do is select the location I want to create a stock keeping unit for. In this case, I want the main location. And then I can look down here and I see I have the planning uh, tab, just like I had in the item. And it copies the parameters from the item. So now I have this specifically for the main location. Uh, so I'll just close that out like that. And I'm going to go ahead and create another one. And this is for the West location. So the West location and the uh, main location have coffee machines that I need to track. And again, I have the same thing here. The fixed reorder quantity is copied from the item and I have 100 and 500, which is great. Now, one thing to note is that Business Central does not list the locations here in the stock keeping unit list. You can see that we have two records, but you don't see which locations it is. And the reason for that is because they are focusing on showing you the variant code. And in this case, we're not using variant codes. We're just going by the location. Um, so you could probably customize the screen to add the location code. I'm not going to do that here. Uh, but then you would see the location and variant, which would make more sense. So Microsoft, uh, I think I would update this screen. I caught one. <laughs> okay, so we go out of here and go into the item list. And now if I go into actions, requisition worksheet, I can go ahead and hit calculate plan uh, for the item. And remember, uh, now we have these stock unit, uh, stock keeping units. And so it's going to be looking at the stock keeping units, not the item when it's actually calculating. And it's not going to look at the blank location. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit OK. And now we see it. It's calculating for the main. 500 pieces and calculating for West 500 pieces, but it ignored the blank location because once we get into stock keeping units, we can no longer work with a blank location in a, in a normal way. 
So that means we've, we've advanced beyond the blank location, so to speak.